YouTube, it's your boy John again. I got something else for you guys today. Today is going to be on a 2019 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Plus, if you want to say, okay? It's going to do a review on this car. It's really nice. It's a 2019 in nickel silver. Um, very, very nice vehicle. Um, I'll go over some of the things with the car as far as the 6.4 Hemi, um, the 8-speed transmission it has, launch control, uh, as far as the scat pack having the Brembo brakes, uh, front and back, things of that nature, um, scooped out hood. This is a real sharp car, all right? So here it is. Check it out. All right, so as you can see here, like I said, this car is a 2019 Charger Scat Pack Plus. Um, it does say 392 on the side there, just so you guys don't know. That is a 6.4 Hemi, okay? Now, if we start looking at this car, they did make some changes for 2019 compared to your 18-year model. Now you have the front uh, two openings right there, not after burners, but these just allows, allows fresh air heat, fresh air get inside those ducts, as you can see on this side and on this side to allow air down inside there to keep it nice and cool. This also has the LED type headlight setup, as you can see there with the projectors. And it also has, looks like LED fog lights at the bottom. Now that yellow piece that you guys are seeing wrapped around the bumper is the same thing that they also put on the Dodge Demon and also um, the Red Eye um, Challengers as far as to protect the front cover from any damage. Normally during transport, but a lot of guys have been leaving that on there to protect their bumpers from any damage. Like I said, it is a scat pack. So you can see this little symbol right there, which is a scat pack symbol. Also with the new design, you got the single scoop in the middle right there, as you can see on your hood, which is very nice and gives it a real scalped out looking uh, far as style goes. Uh, it does have the like gray painted uh, 20 inch rim, sits on an Eagle F1, which is a Goodyear tire, and it sits on a 245 45 20. The nice thing about it, if you look inside there on the brakes, they did go to us as a slotted rotor that's going to allow better heat dissipation and help slow this thing down. And it does have Brembo brakes, as you can see. It's not the six piston Brembos, but it does have the uh, two pistons on each side, far as that's concerned. Okay. Uh, you do have the side skirts on your charger, as you can see there. Okay. Keep in mind. Um, another nice thing about the car, you do have the blind spot right there, monitoring system far as that goes. So if somebody's in your passenger lane or either in the fast lane, you will see this blink. In addition, you guys, also, it's going to allow you to be able to set that in your Uconnect screen where it's going to actually have the chime as well. It does also have heated mirrors. Keep in mind, these mirrors are also breakaways, so the mirror will fold up like that or the mirror will fold in this way so it does not break off. Okay, so as we go around the car, just to show you, you also have Brembo brakes in the back, as you can see there. See? Same Goodyear tire. Okay, same thing with the 245. Uh, 45 20 inch uh, far as that goes and or slotted rotors in the rear. Okay. Uh, see you dang Sorry about that. Also YouTube you're going to see in the back here some changes with the rear as you can see You got a nice spoiler in the back there um, You do have the reverse sensing system right there in the back So that allows when you're backing up you have a sensor here a sensor here a sensor here and a sensor in the back and once again, you do have that scat pack. If you want to say it looks like wheels with the bumblebee. I love that feature. Uh, you do have the LED lights in the back, which is considered like a racetrack LED lights. And you have the rear spoiler. Keep in mind, it also has a camera in the back here, which you can see where I'm um, moving up to right now. That allows you to be able to actually uh, see behind you when you're backing up the car. Let's pop the back real quick. If you look inside here, they all seem to come with these pedals. These are the... These are the pad, brake, and accelerate pedals for the for both, okay? Um, you do have a nice feature right here. If you can see it, it's kind of hard to see YouTube, but this right here allows you to be able to hang either bag or something off there. It holds up to 50 pounds max load. You have an interior light in the back here, and you do have the 6040 60, seats in the back. And believe it or not, that big hump right here showing where my hand is, that's a subwoofer, because this does have the Herman Cardian audio system, as far as that's concerned. You look downside there, they don't put a spare tire inside the vehicle, but they use a tire servicing kit. You see it has a compressor there to turn it off and on. And it does mention right here, just so you know, 50 miles an hour, as far as that goes on the speed of that, as uh, far as that goes in, but you do have to repair the tire, replace it. Keep in mind, another nice feature about the Charger I like is it does have a battery in the back of the vehicle. A lot safer, 
um, easy access if you want to say what you're powering your ground side and your main fuels pa fuse panel is back there as well okay and it does actually have what they consider like a composite material which is this right here this here is composite when I'm touching my hand on and that's also for safety as far as that goes uh, if a child was playing around if you look inside here that is green that will actually glow if a child or somebody was in the back playing around and got stuck they'll see that glow and get themselves out the rear passenger compartment area all right all right YouTube so as I put this down I'm just going around the vehicle itself so you can see also you have the brambles on this side here okay another nice feature the vehicle does have as you can see here is the passive entry um, exit. So if you press this button right here, it will lock the car. As soon as you put your hand behind here, this is centered, okay? And once again, on the passenger side, you have the blind spot monitoring as uh, far as that's concerned, all right? Now, if we look inside the vehicle, a nice change you're gonna see, like I said, is the Herman Carden, Herman Carden audio, which is actually 19 speakers, okay? So you have kind of like us two subwoofers, lots of tweeters, mid-range for good sound quality. Now, if you look on the passenger door, you do have the one touch up and down feature for your window. I love the stitching in the hand um, on the on the armrest right here, as you can see right here, which is double stitch. And this is leather, not plastic. You have a section right here. If you can see YouTube, that's designed to put a 20 ounce bottle of water inside that if you choose to do so. And it tells you with the mark out, don't put an open contents in there and mess it up. Now, as we come to the vehicle, you'll see it does say charger here. This is your airbag for the passenger side. On the glove box, you do have your, you can lock the glove box out here, drop that down, and you see this has all the new books inside, which is red, as uh, far as the charger is concerned uh, with the scat pack. Now, the one thing you're going to notice, YouTube, that this does have these, it is a scat pack, so you can see right there, once again, is that scat pack symbol. Uh, airbags inside the seat here. This is an eight-way powerway seat with lumbar, uh, so you can adjust this seat up if you want to. As you can see, adjust it back if you want to, and then your backrest is also powered, as you can see, it's going down. Lumbar for your back. You have a leather suede combination. Now, this is a scat pack, so this one has the heated seats and ventilated. So ventilation means actually allows cool air come up through those seats uh, during the summer hot months. So very nice. And this is a bucket style seat. So let me step back here so you can see it. Bucket style seat so you can actually be very, very comfortable. Okay, we opened our center console area. You do have your uh, coin holder here. Okay, open that up. You'll see the brand new feature you'll have is the auxiliary one and two. I'm sorry, auxiliary in the middle, and then you have your charging ports one and two. And then this goes back inside here, and then you can go ahead and shut that. Uh, this also has two cup holders built in. These are illuminated, if you want to say. Uh, at nighttime, you'll see that light up, and when you're not utilizing that, you can shut that sliding door. We look down to our transmission, as you can see here, YouTube. This is an eight-speed transmission. So this will allow this car to shift according to where your RPMs is at. Also, um, speed and things of that nature, and uh, it's a lot faster, believe it or not, than your six-speed manual. Uh, I think by 100, what, 1.2 milliseconds difference, if you've wanted to say in that matter there. Okay, if I'm going to sit down inside the vehicle, just bear it with me. You'll see also that you have your screen off option. You have mute. You have launch control, which in this case, I think I mentioned before, you cannot launch this car until it has 500 miles. Once the vehicle has 500 miles, then you can pre-launch it, set your RPMs, and it's a nice feature to have. Notice you have drive modes right there. Um, it does have the performance pages as well, uh, which will allow you to be able to see your um, coolant, uh, battery temp, oil pressure, um, battery voltage, and things of that nature. So very nice. And it does have the dual temp control as well in this charger, as uh, far as here and here for the red and the blue to cool things down. Then, of course, you got everything on the touchscreen. Uh, as far as the 8.4, which is kind of hard to show right now because uh, I don't have the key, but I know the features pretty well. Uh, as far as, you know, you have your radio down there, you connect settings, um, safety and assistance is in that screen. Uh, you'll see your radio settings as uh, far as that goes. And, of course, Apple CarPlay, Android, Google capabilities. So if you don't have the nav in the car with the Uconnect system, if you want to say, you can still mirror from your phone to the 8.4 Uconnect screen 
far as operating navigation. It's all voice activated. It is truly awesome. I think it's wonderful. Now, if we look up here, okay, on your mirror, as you notice, as far as safety is concerned, you have your two map lights. It does have a universal garage opener. And if I move the camera in, you can see you have the SOS, which is strictly for emergencies and assistance as far as talking to somebody from Uconnect customer service. You have that feature, which is nice. Uh, if you also look here, you have a microphone on the right side passenger and a microphone as far as the left passenger as far as that's concerned here. You do have a for the sunglass holder right here, as far as that's concerned, okay. The vehicle is also push button start, okay. So you'll see that. And if we look on our steering wheel, right here you have your cruise control settings. You can hit the middle button. It, say, it will say on that seven inch screen before you, which is right in front of me. It'll say cruise control ready. Then you can hit the set button. You can either um, excel or decel. And also to shut the system off, you can hit the middle button, which I just showed you right here. Shut the system off here, Pre cancel right here, or depress the brake pedal, okay? On this side here, you have these arrows. That controls everything in this seven inch touchscreen, which is kind of hard to see right now, which will show your fuel economy. It shows information center. That will show the uh, little bit of dots that when you start hitting those dots, they highlight. They show your um, trip A and trip B, as far as that goes. It shows your fuel economy. It shows you in the information part. Uh, cooling temperature, transmission temperature, oil pressure, oil life, and battery voltage as far as that's concerned. And it says a Uconnect system. So if I scroll in, you'll see it says VR, which is voice recognition. And you can speak either the temperature if you want. You can speak your radio stations, uh, destinations if it has the navigation, uh, things of that nature. And you'll pick up where it says green and hang up where it says red. And I believe this also has the power steering wheel I believe with the option so if I step back let's see if we can get it to work yep see that YouTube there's a steering wheel going up and there's a steering wheel going down okay and you can bring it in see it going in or I can bring it out okay which is nice so you have that feature um, other than that you do have your uh, vent visors right here, which has been uh, courtesy lights on them. All right. Same with your driver's side. There's courtesy lamps on that one as well. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go around here. Just bear with me. Bear with me, YouTube. All right. Once again, you see your 392, like I mentioned before, that you know it is a 64 Hemi. All right. So if you go by, you also have these side marker lights right here. Okay. And notice inside your projectors on your headlight, it says, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Dodge right there. I hold that. So they are real serious about their brand. All right. So what I'm going to do next, YouTube, I'm going to go to the driver's side here, explain some features on that. You have a one, a two, and an S. So this will allow you to set the driver's side seat for two different settings. And do you hit the S to set the seat itself? Now, if we look down here, okay, you also have your mirror settings right there, left and right, okay? You have your auto for one window up and down for both passenger and driver's side. And then the middle button with the X is to lock out the back windows, and you have lock and unlock on that side there, as far as that goes. And once again, you can either put a 12-ounce can or 20-ounce bottle of water, and you have that one that shows an X in the middle that allows you to tell you not to put any open contents. Now, the biggest thing you two people don't know how is get that gas door open. On the driver's door, underneath the handle, if you hit that button there, that will release the gas door in the back to get fuel inside the vehicle. All right? All right, YouTube. So if we look on the driver's side, you have the eight-way power seat there once again. You have the four-way lumbar. And, of course, airbag inside that seat for safety. As far as that's concerned, there's also airbags um, in the A post, the B post, pillar as far as that goes. Now, YouTube, we look at the driver's side. Once again, you have auto settings as far as the headlights, power off, parking lights, and headlights. And if you push the button in the middle, which you see where it says push, that will turn the fog lights on for you as well. All right. Um, other than that, you have your release right there for your rear, rear passenger compartment deck lid. And those two buttons right here will allow you to adjust the interior lights and things of that nature. All right. So not last but least, loot YouTube, before I go, I just want to show you guys under the hood of the vehicle, okay? And then I'm going to conclude this review. All right, so if we pop the hood, all right, so there she is. 
This is powered by SRT, as you know, a special racing team, okay? And she is going to hold 020, a 040 weight oil, okay, as you can see right there. And this is a 6.4 Hemi. The engine horsepower in this vehicle is 485 horsepower, and the torque is 475 with the eight speed transmission. Now, mind you, you two, keep in mind, it's very simple how to identify certain uh, con um, components under the hood, like the washer fluid is yellow, so there's no guesswork. There's your engine oil dipstick, there's no guesswork. If you're having problems getting the vehicle powered, as far as it needs to charge, you have the red side for power, and you have a grounding rod to put on here to jump start the vehicle. Okay, so as far as, you know, jump starting. If you open this up right here, this is all your main fuses. Very simple, as you can see here, and you have a brochure, which is your user guide, or either in your uh, quick reference guide to show you what is what, okay? As far as that goes. Come on this side here, you can see you have a massive air box right there for this big old engine, as far as that concerned to get fresh air and downside that engine itself. Uh, you can see right there's your antifreeze, your hood insulator right here. And then if we talk about the engine, just so you know that you are getting a 6.4, you can identify the engine right here, 6.4 liter, okay? Notice you have some nice uh, weather stripping around here, up by the hood, all the way around, okay? And a hood insulator inside there, so there's no guesswork what is what. And notice also another nice feature they did on the 19 Charger. It does say Charger right there, which is pretty sweet. All right, YouTube. So that's it on a review on the 2019 Dodge Charger Scat Pack Plus. Okay. Um, like I mentioned, I'm just going to show you guys the window sticker real quick, and then I'm going to get out of here for now. So right here, 19 Charger RT Scat Pack Plus. You guys should be getting 18 city with that vehicle, 15 um 15 city sorry 24 highway and they're saying 18 city highway combined together and it shouldn't spend no more than 5500 bucks more than over five years period of time okay now if i go down this sticker real quick i'm just going to show you there's a color that's your base price of 39,995. your exterior color is triple nickel paint you have the interior which is black and it does have the scat pack excuse me logo with napa with the alcaterra seats which is leather there it is your engines a 392 srt hemi and it does have fuel saver technology guys so just so you know youtube what fuel saver technology would do if you're not on the throttle you're not on the gas it will shut down four cylinders regardless which you will see on your dashes which is eco mode okay and then with the eight speed transmission which is really smooth you'll like how that shifts and it's also going to save you on gas that way so let's just go down there. You see it has the line lock feature, which you actually put this thing in line lock and do kind of a burnout, if you want to say. The launch control with launch assist. Once again, I can't express more. You have to have 500 miles in this vehicle before you actually launch it. It does have the anti-spin rear differential, high-performance suspension. We talked about the Brembo's already. Part view with the backup camera. Tire pressure monitor system, remote start. I'm just going to go down the line real here real quick, YouTube, so you guys can see it. You have the Uconnect system, 4C. You got Sarah's Guardian, which once you pair that to your phone, you'll be able to remote start, unlock the car, lock the car, find the car. Even if it has the NAS system, be able to locate the car. Somebody stole it. Projector LED lights. Okay. And then the plus group, if you guys want to know, slowly go down that. See? Blind spot, cross path detection, driver's auto dimming rear view mirror, um, power telescope and steering, premium stitch dash, ventilated seats, which are the cool seats, even has second row heated seats. So on down the line, on down the line. Driver confidence group, Herman Cardin audio, which I said is 19 speakers with the green age amplifier, so very clear with surround sound. And this sticker's for 265. Okay? And that's gonna be it for now, YouTube. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, The Mopars, The Mopars, so to speak. Um, leave your comments at the bottom and let me know what you guys think. For that now, this is your I'm John Crawford at TriStar Motors. I sell the brand new Dodge product, Chrysler Jeep and Ram. This is the newest thing we got in, which is our 2019 Dodge Charger Scat Pack RT Plus. Okay, YouTube, and I'll see you later. I'm out.